All right, guys, you are six. Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you guys watching. So big shout out to Vetter's Holster. They actually sent this holster here to the channel for testing and evaluation, and we truly enjoy that. We we truly appreciate it because you know companies like like that that helps the channel allows me to make this type of videos for you guys. So now I've been using this holster for about two two uh, two to two and a half weeks. And so far, I like it. I dig it. I think it's a nice system. Now, as you guys know, I got a Glock 42 with a TLR6. I've been carrying this, or you know, EDC in this handgun, and I needed a holster. So when I got in touch with this holster, or when they got in touch with me, I was like, great, let me try it out. Let me try something out with a TLR6. And this is what I got, guys. I mean, excellent holster. Like I said, I've been using it for about two weeks, and it works really well. Now, some of you guys are going to say, well, there's so many tight dead holsters out there that it's difficult to pick one. And that's totally true. Like, there's so many companies that is crazy. So I figure that I asked some questions to see which, you know, why this one is, is kind of better than, than all the companies out there. First of all, check it out, guys. It comes with this bag. This is pretty cool. So you got the holster inside a bag. I mean, that's a nice touch. Obviously, the bag is not like, you know, uh, something that is a requirement. You're not going to use the bag, but it's kind of nice how they go that extra step. You also get a sticker, which is kind of nice as well. But the biggest and the most important thing is that this holster is, I would say, 97.5% made in the United States. Everything that you see here from the Kaidet is 0 .0, 0 0.08 or 0 0.80. There we go. Uh, from this clip right here. Everything that you see is made in the United States with the exception of this screw right here. Now, I talked to Kyle from the company and he said that they're trying to find a company where they could buy this piece. Uh, something like that he told me in the email. Once they get into that, this holster will be 100% made in the United States. So again, family owned business, making things, in, you know, making a business here in our country, making holsters for you guys out there. 97.5% of the stuff already is made in the United States. To me, that is just awesome. You know, I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comments. But to me, that is just awesome. Now, take a closer look at this holster, guys. Obviously, you can see how well molded it is. I mean, it's just excellent. All the edges right here works just fine. I mean, you could just put your finger through it. And, and it's just excellent. I mean, retention, you could work with the retention. Now, this one right here. You hear the retention right there. You go, I could probably tight it a little bit more to make it a little bit, make that retention a little bit better. But I kind of like it like that because once I put the belt through, this is inside the waistband, obviously. Once I pull my belt through, that belt also gives it a little bit more retention. And so far, so far it's working great. So again, but you have the ability to you know make it as tight as you want make it as loose as you want make it however you want it so i kind of like that so check it out guys it just looks fantastic now here's something else that i kind of like about this clip right here and if you're new to the holsters if you're new to the firearms uh you probably this is definitely something really good because it allows you to cant the holster now you have a screw right here if you loose it up a little bit it's gonna allow you to cant the holster uh, I don't know how many degrees are probably about 15 degrees or something like that definitely I'm gonna put a link down below for you guys to get uh, more information and some of you guys are gonna say you know again if you're new to the holster new to carrying a gun why do you truly need or why do you need to cant this holster essentially guys picture this I'm wearing this holster like this and it cants so the grip of the pistol is going to be kind of facing up when he face up it's easier to conceal the gun if it's straight up like this that grip or that you know it's going to be poking out kind of hitting your your t-shirt and, and you're going to print so canting the firearm a little bit forward 15 degrees or something like that is extremely important and that's actually something nice to have so many many inside waist uh inside the waistband holsters like this guys don't have that so that's definitely a plus. Now, guys, obviously, when you go into the website, you're going to be able to order the holster the way you want to, you know, left-handed, right-handed, different clips and things like that. I really haven't found anything wrong with this holster that I don't like. If I have to get picky, and again, I'm saying if I have to get picky, this clip is extremely hard. I mean, it's excellent quality. So, again, 
the fact that it's excellent quality uh, and again, I'm, I'm not trying, maybe I'm being too picky, but once you put your belt through it, the belt, what I find out is that the belt, it, it gets, is pretty tight in there. And the fact that it's pretty tight, it could potentially maybe scratch the belt a little bit. So if you have one of those really pretty belts or, you know, or concealed carry belt and you worry about your belt being a little bit scratched, uh, maybe that's an issue. If you're not, I, I'm not worried about that. Uh, then disregard that. But again, pretty cool. This is the inside of the waistband, light tuck, meaning that you could tuck in your shirt with this holster. And again, guys, excellent, excellent system. I mean, I love it. Glock 42, TLR 6, with a little holster like this, you'd be surprised. This thing conceals extremely well. I dig it, I like it, I love it. I think I think it runs for about $56 uh, with, without the TLR6. I'm not really sure how much is that adapter, uh, that, you know, plus addition for having a, a light to your pistol or to your handgun. So again, I'm gonna link it down below. Let me know what you think, guys. If you have one of this, put comments down below. If you need more information, definitely put comments down below. I really, really appreciate you guys' support. If you like this type of videos, click like, subscribe to the channel, share the videos, and God is in control.